When I write SQL code, I usually do something like this. I mean, I put the select in one line, the from in another line, and so on. Usually I even use tabs to indent the where clause when I have more than one condition. But sometimes I'm just lazy and don't care about those things and just write everything in the same line. Also, I sometimes end up switching between upper and lower case without noticing it, and one command looks very different from the other one. Fortunately, SQL Developer has an auto formatting feature which is activated by pressing Ctrl F7, and by default formats everything you have in the editor. As you can see now, my two commands look more similar. All of the keywords are now in uppercase and both commands are just one line. But this format is not really what I want, so let's see what we can do about it. I'm going to go to Preferences, Database, SQL Formatter, and Oracle Formatting. By default, you are probably going to have the All Preferences profile selected, but you can change it to SQL, so let's see how it works. If I press Ctrl F7 again, now things look different. Keywords are still in uppercase, and now I have the commands separated in several lines each. Let me undo this just to show you something. I'm going to add a new line here and format again. As you can see, I lost the blank line I just added. Also, it separated the commands in too many lines and I don't really like it. So, let's undo this again and see what else we can do about it. Well, we can edit the profile we're using, and there are actually a lot of things we can customize about it. Here I can change alignment options, indentation. Here I'm going to tell it to indent ends and ors because that is what I like to do. Here in line breaks, I'm going to clear this one. What else? I don't want it to remove my blank lines, so I'm going to change this to preserve existing. I don't want to change anything about case line breaks. And... I wanted to make sure there's always one white space around operators and one space after commas. And I like keywords in uppercase, so I'm not going to change anything else. So I'm going to click on OK and see how it works. Good. Things look very similar to what I would have done, so I'm happy with it. Now, one final thing. As I mentioned earlier, it formats everything by default. But if that is not what you want, you just have to select the code you do want to be formatted and press Ctrl F7, and only that code will be affected. Okay, if you are writing code that will only be run once, you might just don't care about formatting it. But if you are writing code that will later be part of a script or an application, or if you are doing this as an assignment or homework for college, or maybe you are applying for a job, then you should really pay attention to it and take advantage of this formatting feature.
Okay. See you in the next lecture.